Welcome to the tutorial for accessing your campus applications via Citrix Zen App and the SSL VPN. We will start by launching the browser. Now the URL we want to enter is www.uncc.edu slash Citrix. At this point, I recommend you add this new URL into your pop-up blocker as an exception. Right-click the URL, copy, go to your Tools, Pop-up Blocker, and your pop-up blocker settings. Right-click and paste and then Add, and you will see this adds the truncated URL into the list. You can now enter in your NinerNet ID and password. You will notice a small window opening up in the lower right hand corner. This is your session manager. It is important that you see this as this will allow your applications to launch properly. At this point you will see the launching the Secure Session Manager screen where it asks you to wait. If at this point it ever hangs, you can simply click New Window down in the Service Manager and a new window will launch giving you all your available applications on the Citrix Access Platform. Now you will notice you get a hand symbol at each icon. This indicates a single click is all that's needed. So you single-click the folder for Office 2007 and say we want to use Word so we single-click the Word 2007 icon. You will notice you will get a small window indicating connecting to Word 2007 via Citrix and a progress bar. Connection established. And now it is starting Word 2007. It is loading your personal settings. This is all your personal settings you might have made within the application, then running your login scripts and mapping your network drives, and there you have it. Word 2007 running on your screen. Now if you want to access any of your files residing on a network drive on campus, you simply go to the large button in the upper left hand corner and click open, and the default will take you to your My Documents folder. If you want to look at all the different drives and folders that are available, you click on the My Computer icon. You will see a Client File Security window. What this is is Citrix ZenApp asking you, do you want to allow Citrix ZenApp to access your local drives? Well, yes we do, since we might have files stored locally or on a thumb drive that you need access to, as well as your network drives. So let's grant it full access and never ask again. OK that. Now you will see all the drives that are available. Notice that your C drive, which is the local hard drive on the system you are presently using, is remapped to a client V drive. That's why the little dollar sign next to the C. You can also see the H drive is there, the I drive, the J department drive, your shared S drive, etc. So you can go into each one of these or go back to where we originally started in the My Documents folder. Open any of the files there or go through other folders and access any of the documents you have stored on the network. And of course you can save this document anywhere that is available, such as saving it where it was or in any of the other folders we saw earlier, or even on the local drive or a thumb drive. Let's go ahead and end this application. Exit Word. 
Now you will notice in the lower right hand of your screen a profile icon and connection center icon. These indicate you are still connected and these will clear out as they did here. That means any changes you made to your profile, like unique settings within the application, are saved back to a roaming profile folder, which will be accessed the next time you access Citrix Zen App. Now we want to end our session, so we log off. To make sure we have terminated all secure connections to the network, up in the upper right hand corner is a little door. When you hover over this, it says Sign Out. Go ahead and click that. This will terminate the Session Manager window that you saw in the lower right hand corner of your screen. So now you have completely logged out of Citrix and the SSL VPN.